On today's agenda, we'll again do a, a brief company overview, cover our products and solutions with Sentinel Suite, some of our advanced sensors, prognostic reasoners, IoT solutions, our battery simulation technology, CellSage, and our Nighthawk no fault found reduction tool. And then at the end, we'll have an aerial demonstration and then some questions and contact information. So a little bit about Ridgetop Group. We're located in Tucson, Arizona. We are a technology leader in reliability engineering, quality assurance, um, condition-based maintenance, prognostic health management, and integrated vehicle health management applications. So we also offer engineering design services, um, circuitry for harsh environments, prognostics, and CBM, PHM, and IBHM solutions. We're also an AS9100D and ISO 9001 quality management system. So that is certified by MCNA, and we were incorporated in the year 2000 and servicing aerospace, automotive, industrial, and government market segments around the globe. Some of our representative customers that we've worked with in the past are Raytheon, Boeing, Global Foundries, Rolls Royce, Lockheed, and, and several others throughout the years. So this, this particular curve, I'm sure many of us have all seen this in our reliability engineering courses or background. So this is the bathtub reliability curve. And I always like to start this for a rural demonstration purposes is because if we look at the latter half of this curve, this is where, again, there's normal operating conditions and eventually things start to degrade and wear out over time. So these are the same types of signatures that we're looking for in a rule to serve as our inputs to get our prognostic estimates. And so the evolution of, of maintenance practices, right? So in general, a lot of technologies and industries were trying to transition away from reactive maintenance to more of condition-based maintenance solutions. So with that, you want to have the necessary tools to, to be able to do that. And at Ridgetop, that's a lot of what our solutions are, are built upon. So here, here's a general overview of some of our, our technology. So the Sentinel suite family of products include Sentinel Interconnect, Sentinel IT, Sentinel Motion, and Sentinel Power. And we'll kind of go over each of those in, in a later slide. And then we also have a several prognostic algorithms and reasoners and within that is a rule which stands for an adaptive remaining useful life estimator and then we also have multivariate analysis algorithms that we implement in nighthawk and some of our other tools to compare different data streams and, and distill that into single useful metrics for a given system and then cell sage is our battery simulation modeling software for lithium ion batteries as well as others in electric vehicles, UAVs, and, and other types of um, battery powered devices. And then Nighthawk is our no fault found reduction tool. So Sentinel Suite is a family of advanced CBM, PHM, and IBHM solutions for complex systems and subsystems. These modular solutions offer end-to-end -end system health monitoring and diagnostics with a complete toolbox of smart sensors, anomaly detection methods, prognostic reasoners, and graphical visualization tools. So Sentinel Interconnect is used to monitor for intermittencies or, or failures in interconnects as well as cable harnesses or even at the solder joint level with our SJ BIS sensors. Um, Sentinel IT is used to monitor manage IT networks, so backup power supply systems as well. And then while being able to alert when there's something changed with a particular workstation, and then Sentinel Motion is used to monitor electromechanical systems such as passenger and freight railroad trains, aircraft, infrastructure, wind turbines, and other equipment to prevent unexpected downtime. And Sentinel Power is used to analyze and diagnose power supply systems through our prognostic enabled smart sensors with Smart Probe. So a visual of where Sentinel Suite in a CDM and PHM ecosystem is shown in this particular image where you first have, need to have a way to be able to communicate that PHM data from a particular aircraft or, or system, and you need the necessary sensors to do that. And then you also need graphical visualization tools to be able to then identify design improvements or perform your analytics and alert the operator to perform CBM or PHM actions. And depending on what the application is, those actions can vary. So whether if you know a power supply is going bad, is your action, is your first level action to, you know, replace another one or order a new power supply, reduce the load, et cetera. So as you can expect, those types of actions is 
very much dependent on on whatever the target platform is and also the industry in which you're in. And we work with our customers to develop these types of solutions. So now we'll go over each individual family member in a little bit more detail. So starting with Sentinel Interconnect, you can see here, this is used to detect faults in solder joints, sockets, plugs, wires, cables, and, and other items. So on the image on the top right, that, that's a cable test system that we had built for, I believe, the F-18. And then our SJBIS is used to monitor cracks in, in solder joints. And that technology is also extendable to cable harnesses as well. Now, Sentinel IT, you can see here, is again where we're able to install this on a network computer and monitor individual workstations as well as network switches, as well as backup power supply systems and communicate that data using built-in Windows protocols, as well as I believe Linux. And with that, we have an automatic network discovery to discover all workstations on that network and the ability to alert operators or IT professionals when and where a particular workstation may be degrading over time. Now, Sentinel Motion is one of our, our bigger focus areas in with respect to Sentinel Suite. So it, Sentinel Motion is comprised of a network of Redosent smart sensors, a Sentinel gateway communications device, and the Sentinel Motion view software package for data acquisition, analysis, and sensor to gateway management. And you can see here on the left, we have three series of, of sensors and form factors that were built for different industries and applications, the gateways in the middle and the softwares on the right. So kind of later in the presentation, when I provide the A-Rule demonstration, we will see how this is used to acquire sensor for a given application while we're working with NASA and use that as the data acquisition system and A-Rule as the prognostic estimation tool. Sentinel Power is a product line that we all, we're also very focused on, which is used to monitor different types of power supply systems. And you can see here in the lower right corner, a good power supply system will display a certain resident frequency as then a degraded power supply system will show a different one. And with that, we're able to monitor that with Smart Probe and then change, detect that change and serve that as the input into a role. So this is another demonstration um, we'll be covering today. And I guess another note is the power, our power supply prognostic solution is based on Ridge Shop's patented ring down technology and provides advanced diagnostics and prognostics for power supply systems. So our prognostic reasoners and algorithms, uh, as I've been talking about ARIL, so ARIL does stand for the Adaptive Remaining Useful Life Estimator, and that analyzes incoming sensor data, provides estimates for state of health and remaining useful life at the system or subsystem level. And typically what, what happens is you start with, again, the, this curve here, which looks very familiar to that bathtub reliability curve, where you have a healthy data set. Eventually things start to degrade and wear out to a point of functional failure, and then eventually even physical failure. And within ARIL, we transform this into remaining useful life, um, state of health, and prognostic horizon. So where, where does this fit into a, a PHM system? So this, this can be in a number of different ways. It can be embedded at both the sensor level or within a gateway system, or even on a, the software application for the, the given um, system you're trying to monitor. So we, we've worked with all different types of customers to come up with, with these different architectures. And what we found is our solution is modular and the API is fairly straightforward for us to be able to work together and get these, take condition-based data and generate prognostic estimates with ARIL. So our, our next solution here that we'll be talking about is our advanced sensors and our IoT system architecture that we use. So this is, again, very much well and implemented in our Sentinel Motion product line where we have IoT sensors that are installed on railway systems and to monitor the bearings, wheels, and track features. So, so yeah, our IoT system architecture with that, you have sensors 
internet gateways and data acquisition systems. And then at that edge and target application, there's analytics and pre-processing that is sometimes necessary and or required before sending that over to a cloud application. As we know it with our railroad application, it's better to send key analytics and alerts as opposed to all of the raw data for that particular application. And this is a good online example that we kind of found with IoT and, and edge processing. So our IoT solutions were originally developed while we were working with NASA with, with Rotosense and Central Motion, but we have extended that to several other applications while, while working with the likes of Boeing for structural health monitoring and other companies as well. So with that, there's a sensor and a data stream that is typically either hardwired and for the application, our customer would like to make that wireless. And we send that to our gateway where we have a very robust software application to acquire that data, display the results, and develop the necessary hardware, firmware, and software results for that. And so this slide right here provides a visual of our Sentinel gateway. So with that, when we're talking about IoT solutions, we can take any non-IoT sensor with an SPI, UR, or USB interface and offload that through the Sentinel IoT module. We also have our Rotosense family of smart sensors for vibration, temperature, and um, shock vibration and temperature, and then smart probe for power supplies, and then fiber brag sensors, and then also any Wi-Fi compatible sensor can also be used to connect to that gateway. And with that, we can offload it either cellular, ethernet, or, or through Wi-Fi as well to a data analytics and prognostic software applications like a rule. So the application domains, uh, if we kind of do a recap on Sentinel Suite. So Sentinel Power is typically used to monitor power supply systems. Sentinel Motion is used to monitor rotary or vibrational systems. And Sentinel Interconnect is used to monitor interconnects, cable harnesses, et cetera. And Sentinel IT is used to manage PCs or network switches, as well as backup power supplies for given computer networks and infrastructure. And with that, there's an application software for each of them. There's reasoners and algorithms for each of those and then also even sensors and then different types of data. So within all that, the software applications can be configured individually or within the Sentinel Suite dashboard. So here's a, another visual on Sentinel Motion and the market segment serviced by Ridgetop. So as I previously alluded to, we're heavily involved in the rail and transportation industry where we're trying to monitor varying wheels and track components, but the technology actually originated in the aviation side where we're monitoring helicopter gearbox systems. And we've also worked with customers on the energy side with wind turbines and in industry such as that conveyor belt system. So if we look at an example aircraft deployment scenario, there's the PHM or CBM and IVHM initiative to want to monitor key systems and subsystems and determine their state of health and remaining useful life. So with that, we can look at the power supply systems. Um, we have the onboard PHM and alerting software or even offboard GUIs as well. There's also uh, the date necessary data bus and sensing hardware required to get that data from either the subsystem to a gateway or to a HUMS device, et cetera. And then there's structural health monitoring on or particular, or could be for particular um, UAV or, or aircraft application. And then the power system anomaly detection and then wireless enabled electromechanical actuators solutions as well. So now we'll talk a little bit about CellSage. So CellSage is an advanced battery and cell aging software simulation tool from Ridgetop, and it represents over a decade of research in electrochemistry, physics, and thermodynamics. Um, CellSage can assess how various battery chemistries age and degrade in response to different usage profiles during a simulated battery life cycle. So CellSage um, calculates more than 20 vital health metrics and aging effects, including state of charge, capacity loss, cell slash battery conductance loss, and power fade. Some of the target markets that we have with existing customers are with electric vehicles, grid energy storage, robotics, and UAVs. And then the technology benefits for this particular technology is to decrease lifetime testing by at least 50%, reduce cost of battery packs by at least 5 to 20%, and refine battery management systems and strategies to reduce battery aging by at least 10 to 25%. And that particular image is a visual of the CellSage CPC's um, simulation module. 
so now we'll, we'll talk a little bit about Nighthawk. So Nighthawk is a tool that we developed while working with the Air Force. And with this, we're able to, in fact, create a digital twin for circuit card assemblies and build in test procedures and test scripts to detect a, a common problem that the Air Force has on aging aircraft, such as no fault found. So we have a, we developed an entire um, test suite for that. And I believe it was based on the Air Force VDAT system some time ago. And with that, we also have our multivariate analysis algorithms, which include the critical point comparison, autocorrelation analysis, the frequency response analysis, and then wavelet hard transforms as well. So now we'll get to the AO demonstration. So as I was talking about earlier with the central motion development kit, this is one of our rotosense sensors. Uh, in the upper left, where we developed that to be embedded into a helicopter gearbox system at the NASA Glenn Research Center. And at the time, this really hadn't been done before where we were comparing an embedded IoT sensor really before IoT was, was a, a big success. And at that time, we were comparing the embedded version versus case-mounted accelerometers. And what we were able to find was we could extract uh, the time sequencing averaging signal. And again, if you take a look at that, the uh, progression from healthy data sets to a point of functional failure and then even physical failure. So what we were trying to detect with this was a cracked gear tooth. And um, as you can see, some of the data is copy in a sense. And that's because we were doing accelerated live testing where we would grind the tooth to a certain point and then restart the test. So with that, you can see the, the changes in, in the data signal for that. Some key notes here is a rule um, supports the processing of single systems with up to 10 LREs or data nodes. And a rule generates pronostic estimates for RUL, SOH, and pronostic horizon. And the platform can be enhanced with fault management simulations and actions. So now some of the output here, you can see in the upper right corner is the initial Kind of, kind of area where we were notching the gear tooth and then when we ran it to a point of functional failure and it was broken. And you can see again in the data output from a rule where we took the condition-based data input, normalized that and then kind of smoothed it out with a rule and served this as the fault to failure progression signature. And then with that, you can see the state of health degrade from 100% state of health and then it goes back up because we stopped the test. We started running the test again and it got even to a lower state of health. We stopped again and then ran it again to a point of physical failure. And you can see each time we restarted the test, that rate of acceleration and, and change in the signal for a state of health decreases faster. And yeah, so here, so what we found as a result of that NASA testing is Rotosense was able to perform as expected through 113 hours of testing um, at speeds of up to 6,000 RPM. The single Rotosense unit obtained as much data as five case-mounted accelerometers um, without the added weight of additional cables. And additional analysis has shown that the time sequencing averaging data could be transformed into a clear fault-to-failure progression signature and be processed with Ridgetop's A-Roll prognostic engine. So additional details are located here in some of these papers, and I will be happy to share the slides um, with you if anybody would like to go through these papers. So that, that particular demonstration was a rule as a standalone kind of software application where, again, we have uh, the data acquisition being done with the central motion toolbox. And then on the right side, we have our data processing being done in the a rule GUI to obtain prognostic estimates. So. That, that's one example of it. We also have another demonstration today as well, where ARO can also be done as an embedded solution within the likes of Sentinel Power. So that's what we'll start with now. And this one's pretty quick as well. So this demo is with on a PC power supply system where we have our smart probe sensor connected to a power supply, and then we have our PCDD um, connected to that power supply, and both of those are being controlled by a laptop or computer, and the PCDD is a um, programmable capacitance degradation device. What, so what we do in this demonstration is programmatically degrade the capacitance in that power supply to change the resonant frequency or the ring down frequency. 
And with that change, we're able to process it with a role as, as an embedded solution. I believe this has a video here. So yeah, this is an accelerated test here with that I was able to speed up. It typically takes about seven minutes to change that frequency response, but I believe I got it down to about 30 seconds here. And what we're gonna see, I believe, is this frequency response show again, that reliability bathtub curve where it gets to a point of functional failure. And with that, a rule in real time for each data point that we're obtaining here is we're estimating the state of health and watching it kind of degrade to a point of or no longer operational within specification. Okay. So yeah, just another uh, brief recap on that. So Sentinel PowerView is the software application for this particular system and Sentinel Power manages the control and data flow between the smart probe the a rule signature and prediction engine and also um, a phm system user so the sensor data can be integrated into connected systems or downloading um, the txt and csv data output files and exporting them through an api so a little bit more background on it again that condition-based data signature here is what we're taking a look at this is a, a plot from matlab versus the gui plot and then this is the ring down frequency that we're changing as we degrade that capacitance in a power supply. And these are some of your results that you would attain with a rule. So again, your state of health starts out from 100% and programmatically degrades to a point of functional failure. And with that also, your, your remaining useful life as well um, eventually run, runs out as well. So in summary, ARIL is a powerful prognostic reasoner and is available as a standalone predictive analytics software package that can analyze condition-based data inputs. ARIL provides key prognostic estimates such as state of health, remaining useful life, and prognostic horizon, as demonstrated with the NASA helicopter gearbox application. And ARIL can also be embedded in a complete PHM system level solution as demonstrated with Sentinel Power. And then ARIL and the MVA algorithms are key elements in the Sentinel Suite family of Richtop CDM, PHM, and IBHM solutions. So some of our success stories are, are shown here in the aerospace industry where we have worked and supported Boeing in the development of prognostic models for the Apache electrical power supply system, as well as flight qualifying a structural health monitoring solution for composite rotary blades. Um, we've also, again, worked with NASA to develop our um, innovative non-intrusive measurement solution for rotary drive systems, such as the transmission gearbox. We're also involved in the energy sector, so we developed a solar power monitoring solution to identify um, faulty DC to AC power inverters um, for the city of Tucson. And we developed a solar cell energy management system for residential and business energy users in San Diego. And on the automotive side, the intermittency detection with Central Interconnect has been done to define um, test programs to perform accelerated aging of those evaluation boards, as well as believe with Rolls-Royce and SJBIS. And then oil and gas, we developed a condition monitoring program for solutions of subsea electronic modules. And then IT networks, so we, we deployed a Sentinel um, network on, on a number of, of platforms and IT systems to provide the first network health management tool um, capable of network discovery, UPS health monitoring, and automatic recovery of those managed devices on both legacy and new um, computing systems. So I believe those are all the slides I have for today. So now we can open up the floor for some questions and I'm happy to go back to any of the slides as well.